Good morning, happy Sunday. As you can see, we're off to a busy start in the week in the studio. We've got the pore paintings that I'm doing the edges on, as well as the birds that I'll be working on next. the birdies are done. I don't actually know if I mentioned what I was doing. Basically I was just making that one match that one because that was that one was a lot greener than that one so I just kind of blued it up a bit. But yeah they're done and ready to be sprayed. Of course today and a lot of this week it is ridiculously humid and you aren't supposed to well spraying aerosol sealants and protective coatings and stuff uh, doesn't go well in high humidity so they are on hold to be completely finished as are the poor paintings that are all kind of just in the closet there right now but I did have an opportunity to clean up a bit I guess I'm just gonna put those paints away and then it will be a nice uh, clean studio to start working on this week's video <music> Again, I'm super sorry that the vlogs lately have kind of been sporadic and very time-lapse heavy. It's been very whirlwindy, mainly because the other day I decided um, that ultimately uh, pre-filming videos so that I can completely concentrate on costume and armor building in the summer was probably the greatest way to go, especially because since the last time I talked about um, cosplay summer plans, I have since changed the costume and I basically want pretty much three months of uninterrupted armor building, uh, which is a problem because if I like looked at the amount of videos I need to pre-film and I need to pre-film like 13 and uh, I want to basically be building armor right now, so that's not great. Uh, so I've literally been figuring out how on earth I'm going to get 15, 13 um, videos uh, filmed as soon as possible. So last night I know I filmed a time lapse of, time lapse of the sketch of this week's artwork. It was a quick watercolor sketch. I realized that I haven't actually done a watercolor painting in like months, which Time has been flying and clearly did not know that I had not touched watercolor in that long. So watercolor painting is done. Finished that last night. I actually just finished filming like I think it took it took me like two hours to film an art book collection video which is insane. Like I knew it was going to take me a long time but two hours is a little longer than I thought. And then tomorrow I am have on my calendar, which is ridiculously filled up, that I need to film two more videos and basically film like 
tons of videos basically like if I can do two vid videos a day for the next two weeks I should be okay and then it's armor building a go-go but we'll see how well those plans work out but yes it's super busy uh what else oh yeah I did um yesterday also uh spray the poor paintings from last week as well as those birds so they have their finished coat on them I still need to uh, attach the attachments onto the poor paintings and get those on the wall which is probably happening tomorrow hopefully we'll see how uh, my day goes I also designed like all five t-shirt designs which are on order so hopefully those come in soon but speaking of things coming in I do have something very excited that came in the mail today oh yes so this came today, a little story, basically I've been doing so much commission work and everything that I thought, you know, why not treat myself to something and I really didn't need any more paint, really, let's be real with that, I mean, if you've seen my art supplies collection, you know, but I have always looked at the acrylic gouache paints because they are such a unique type of paint and... I've always looked at them and so I kind of just decided to see how expensive a set would be and I found this 36 color set for 133 Canadian and it was amazing. <laughs> I could not not buy it and so yes it is beautiful and I can't wait. I think I'm actually going to wait to try these and do like a first impressions in a video or at least try them out for the first time in a video. But yes, I am so, so excited. It's also awesome because Curry's, which is a Canadian, um, well, it's mainly an Ontario um, art supply store, actually started carrying these. So if I ever run out of a color in this set or ever want to add to this collection, I can easily go to a Curry's and pick them up now as opposed to before a couple of months ago, I'm not even sure where I would have been able to get them, I guess, online. Um, like I got this, but yes. So, so, so excited to play with these. If you don't know the acrylic gouache paint, it works like gouache, but it sets like acrylic. So when you add more paint over top, the paint won't reactivate. So that's an awesome bonus to have um, because that's kind of one of my main pet peeves about uh, gouache paint because it's kind of deceiving. Um, because it is so opaque, you'd think that it would set a little better than... Uh, it does. So these are the solution to that. That's kind of it for anything interesting right now. I did manage to put back all of the art books uh, because pretty much all of them were off of the shelf, which you really realize how many art books you have when they're not where they need to be and they're all over your studio. Uh, <laughs> but I did have to grab some from my bedroom that aren't kept in the studio art book wise and they're all over my bed so I should probably go and put those away so that I could actually sleep tonight <laughs> even though <laughs> probably don't have really time to sleep at this rate. Also, I should probably mention, because I am looking at pre-filming so many videos, I do have a short list of what I'm looking at working on, but if there are any requests, leave them in the comments, and I will definitely, most likely, try and fit that in if it is something that's not going to take me a century and a half to film, seeing as I am trying to get them done so, so fast. But yes, I'm super excited for all of the videos that are planned for this summer, seeing as I'm going to literally be filming them within the next two days, pretty much. First project of the day is to get the uh, screws and hanging stuff onto the backs of these, now that I know which orientation they're going to be hung up in. And here are the finished and hung up paintings. I know I mentioned earlier that I designed a bunch of t-shirt designs and then ordered them on Redbubble and they actually have already come in so I thought I would show you them since they're kind of art related seeing as they are all my designs. Um, but if you're interested, they're all from Redbubble. Um, 
I like ordering lots of Redbubble things because then I can say if someone's interesting in ordering anything from my designs on Redbubble, like what the quality is like because I do own a ton of products, I like to test them out and everything, and I was in need of some uh, new standard cut uh, t-shirts to that aren't necessarily work shirts. So some of these designs are available, some of them aren't, but if you're interested in any of my Redbubble designs and stuff, the link will be in the description box. But yes, the first one is the Enfist Nest design, which is the cardboard drawing. I really liked how it turned out, so I got this on, I believe this one's the Heather Gray. Most of these are the unisex t-shirt. This one I'm pretty sure is called Heathered Gray. Um, yeah. The next one is on a tri-blend t-shirt and it is actually my tattoo design in white because I do really love the design. <laughs> this one is another unisex one. It is my Studio MM Crew <laughs> design. This one I ordered a bit bigger to definitely be a work shirt, like working out in the garage this summer and stuff. This one is the Ren helmet design in Season 3, which is the season that I cosplay Sabine, so I figured that would be a good t-shirt to have. And last but not least, is the Rebel Artist Design, which this one is definitely available if you are interested in this one. And this one again is on a tri-blend t-shirt. And yeah, that's all the t-shirts. And I think that's actually going to be it for this vlog. I have a nutso uh, afternoon and weekend. There's a bunch of family coming over, so no art is getting done. It's just going to be preparing for an influx of family members. <laughs> But thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next week.